Welcome to the UI series. Um, I'm going to start off with making a live main menu and basically to simplify what I got here is I have a cinematic actor or a cinematic camera actor which is in cinematic in your modes um, a light mass importance volume and a player start and a light. It's very 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 simply set up but basically once you start the game um, your camera is going to change to this camera and you're going to see your character and your menu is going to show up along the side here and you'll have a live view and I'm, I'm leaving it simple because what the background looks to your character is uh, completely up to you so you don't need to start a new project for this I did start another one I'm on 416 and it's a third person project and I just named it UI Tutorials, but this is going to be completely dedicated to just getting you guys the idea of how these menus work. I'm going to make an options menu eventually, and we're going to get heavy into it, like uh, inventory, um, the options, saving, saving the options, uh, player statistics, player creation, um, hosting matches, joining matches, the technicalities behind that and uh, probably quite a bit more as we go on here. Um, so I'm going to give you a technical heads up here. My laptop is what I work on here and it is a piece of crap so you might see this glitch across the screen when I'm doing it seems to only happen when I'm running in blueprints. Um, so first things first drop a cinematic, act, uh, cinematic camera actor down pin that so you can see it get your background set up and play with your player start now what I did for this I'm just gonna move this out of the way is I went to my third person blueprint um, and I drug him into the into the level and now you can see under your cinematic character what it's gonna look like so basically I just rotated them and I moved them along and then Let's see, I'll actually just do this quick right here because it is quick and simple. Very quick and simple. So I'm going to move this. And let's see. I'm going to take the grid off for now because I just want it to look nice. See, and I think, I think that's about right. So what's going to happen is you don't want the player character, the third person player character to be already in the level, you want a player start because that way as soon as the level loads your character is going to show up and he will be standing there and if you have the third person player standing there your character will spawn somewhere else and it might be behind him, it might be completely out of view and, and then you'll be pretty much fighting, well why in the hell is it like this? So what I did was I went and I took my player, third person player character I turned my rotation to world and my location to world and then I dropped in a player start and I'm gonna turn it to world 2 so what you do is you go you click on third person character right click on the location copy it player start do that but go to paste and then you go back to your third person copy absolute rotation and then you go back to your player start and paste absolute rotation so then we take our third person character and we'll delete him so now you'll see your player or your uh, starting location is exactly lined up with where your third person character is and when you hit play he'll spawn there and it'll look just like it did before you deleted him so now what we're gonna do is we're going to go to our blueprints and we're going to go to open level blueprint and this is where those glitches might start showing up so just follow along here um, click on your camera make sure it's selected go over here right click create reference okay now once we get into this we're gonna it's gonna be pretty technical I guess um, so we're going to go on begin play and we're 
we're gonna go to cast to player. Uh, right, I don't, I didn't name him player character. A lot of people name him player character, but uh, so it'll be third person cast third person character. We're gonna go to see his owning. No nope. player. Uh, player controller. And see, there's the glitches I was telling you guys about. Okay. We're gonna go here. And we're gonna add cinematic camera component. We're gonna keep it at relative. Oh right, sorry. Uh, we need to get on or get control pawn. Attach that in there. So you're gonna get our controller, get what we're controlling, cast to it, make sure it's. Uh, the third person character or whatever character you're using um, off here we're gonna add a cinematic actor or a cinematic camera component and then we are gonna activate this activate the camera and then we're gonna get our existing camera which is our follow camera we're gonna deactivate it Then we're going to go to detach from component off the added cinematic camera. We're going to say keep world, keep world, keep world, detach camera. Now we're going to set world location and rotation. We're going to teleport it. Bring our cinematic camera over here. I'm going to say get world transform. Get world transform from camera component. That's what you want, is the camera component. Just going to make this a little bit prettier. See, there's that glitching. I'm going to right click. I'm going to click structure pins. New location new rotation compile save okay now I'm gonna say custom event add main menu this is what I named it so now we're gonna get player controller Now we're going to go to add widget. Whoops, not add widget, sorry. Create widget. Add to viewport. And then we're going to set input mode to UI only and show mouse cursor set show mouse cursor and we're going to make that true okay so now I do not have my main menu widget yet so if you compile it it's not going to it's not going to bring up your main menu so I'm going to just drag this over here for a minute I'm going to go to content and I'm going to add a new folder and I'm going to say UI and I'm going to create a user interface widget blueprint main menu now just to start this off to test the, uh, the mechanics of it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and I'm going to go horizontal. 
horizontal box. I'm going to anchor this to the whole top of the screen. I'm going to reset all these parameters. And I'm going to, I like to have that 100, 100 uh, unit offset on the right. And I actually like it on the left too. And I'm going to bring it down. Actually, I'm going to bring it down another 100 points too, so it's even on all sides. I'm going to set this to 150. Why not? Okay. I'm going to compile that. I'm going to go like this. And I'm going to add text. Where are we here? Common text. And I'm going to show you a quick trick, so make sure you're paying attention. This is, here. This is actually pretty awesome. So I'm going to fill this. I'm going to set this center. I'm going to set this center. Okay. I want my size to be, let's say, 56. Let's see what 56 looks like. Yeah. And I'm going to say username. Right? Okay, so you don't have to copy that exactly. Just fill the horizontal box. Center, center. You don't have to have username. Set it whatever color you want, the positioning you want. Um, anything like you can play with it that's your preferences choose your size next thing we're going to need is our bind and i'm going to create binding and i'm going to go over here and it says get tech zero but nobody knows what the hell that means when they come back to it three months down the line and they want to edit it so i'm going to rename that i'm going to hit f2 uh, i'm going to say display user now remember this function because this comes in handy in simplifying save data. So we're going to say owning player. Oops. Get owning player. Let's say username. Um, what is it here? Actually, I don't need that. Delete that. Username. Get platform username. Now what that does is it talks to your system, asks you like that. Say if this was on Xbox, it asks you what your username is, so you'd get your Xbox Live user ID or your Sony ID, or the ID, the name of the ID that you use to log into your computer. So we'll go like this, and we'll append it make a fancy little message. I'm going to send that to the second text. I'm going to say, well, welcome, and then space. I'm going to add another pin, and then I'm going to space and add an exclamation mark. Okay. Now, append is just making one word into a sentence, just for those people that have a hard time understanding this. Uh, no offense by that, by the way. I wasn't trying to say anything about that. Um, yeah, so then you just drag and drop to this. It'll change it to text, compile, save, close. So now we're here. So now we need a main menu. Compile, save. Now I'm going to drop this down and I'm going to go to new editor window. And see, we got, we got our camera working and it's right where we want it to be, but our menu didn't happen. Now I believe I know why that happened. So I'm going to go back into my blueprints, my level blueprint. And it's because I made this custom event, add main menu, but I didn't do it to the end of this. Add main menu. So I got to call that function now. So now I'm going to comment all this comment and I'm going to call it, I'm going to say uh, sets live view camera and I'm going to comment this and I'm going to say add main menu um, functionality. Now what I like to do is because actually in the time I've been gone I've actually recruited a few people that wanted to learn Unreal Engine beside me and they actually specialize in quite a diff few different fields they just don't know how this engine works so uh, what we started to do because we collaborate as a team 
is if this works so I know this this works here I'm actually going to set the color green and I think this is actually a good habit to get into because once um, you're, if you're working with a team member or you're coming back six months down the line um, you know that it works and if if it doesn't you mark it red and then they know okay well this this guy is uh, currently working on it he's fixing it he's trying to figure out what's wrong because nobody knows the problem better than the person who started that project uh, so now I'm gonna uh, I haven't tested ads main menu functionality yet so it's gonna stay gray so I'm gonna compile save I'm gonna hit play and it does but I don't like how it's right over my face here um, it is seems to be a little low so we're just gonna tinker with that here and actually um, now that we got the main menu functionality or er, uh, spawning I'm gonna set this to green too compile save now I know it's working and I know it's all in my main menu so now I'm gonna actually go anchors and I'm gonna top right corner and I'm gonna go like this and I'm gonna change the size down to about here I'm gonna actually make her about a third of the screen uh, so to do that I'll do 10 80 divided by 3 pile but I don't why is my screen uh, screen size so that's why we're 720 so we're 1080 divided by 3 is what we need so uh, size X 1080 divided by 3 it's 360 I guess okay but that just doesn't seem right to me so I'm gonna I don't know I'm gonna hop it up to about 500 compile save oh wait it's because I'm doing 1920 yeah dumbass 1920 divided by 3 there now we're exactly a third compile save now I'm gonna go to play and boom look at that and that actually looks pretty damn good so we got that working now let's do a vertical box and I'm gonna say I'm gonna actually because we're selected horizontal box right now I'm gonna call this uh, display user okay file minimize and then I'm gonna go to a vertical box drag and drop that and I want this to be the whole left side I'm going to reset this stuff okay so now I know this is 150 so I want offset from the top 150 so that'll bring it right square with that I want a zero offset off the bottom and I want my buttons to be about 100 uh, 300 wide and I'm going to do hundred from the whoops control Z that I'm gonna do a hundred from the left so a hundred okay so why did that drop that changed that changed uh, offset 150 that's what's going on okay there we go compile exit now what I want to do is I'm gonna add uh, three buttons to that vertical box one Two, three. Well, if I'm helping you guys, feel free to get in touch with me. Hook me up with a donation. I'm gonna put it. I want to put it to building an actual development computer. Um, but anyway, that's a total different story for another day. Uh, so you click on our button. I'm gonna name the vertical box. I'm gonna say navigation. Plane navigational plane, and I'm gonna name this button play. This button options, and this button is quit. Now, since you're probably on video 300 of researching how to do UI, I guarantee you already know how to do the quit button. <coughs> quit game and then owning player 
Now the reason I do owning player and I don't do just get player controller is because, like I said, I'm 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 gonna affiliate this with my MMO series, and when it becomes when you're dealing with networking, you might not be player character zero or player controller zero. Zero isn't a definite thing. I, I actually came across that, and I'm going to show you in another series how to make a mini map and a functioning one at that. But I found when it comes to networking, the mini map is mini mapping the host, which is kind of funny because then you could just follow him and go shoot him anytime you want, and everybody just pick on him because that's just the way it works. But we don't want that, so we want owning player because that gets whatever controller you are no matter what. So I'm going to go back to my designer. I'm going to add text to this button. Click it and I am going to say quit. Now on a later video I'm going to get into I'm um, making some UI images for you guys to download. Um, so click that subscribe button so once I get into beautification of your menus you guys will have something to download to make your buttons amazing looking um, anyway so I'm gonna make my text 36 now I'm gonna add text to all these other ones and this one's gonna be options and this one is gonna be play now about here I'm gonna make a card show up on the screen I want to vote I need a vote here when I click play what do you guys want to see do you want to have the hosting come next do you want and the joining and the networking come next or do you want to have just simply going to a new level um, it, or actually you know what let's see um screw it yeah no I'll, I'll I'll get this going in the next next tutorial so now we're gonna select a held control there and we're gonna just gonna select our buttons and I want this one and fill okay you want horizontals already there see if you did this it just makes them way too huge go like this and fill I'm going to compile it, okay, um, let's make the color and opacity different, that's, that's the writing, let's make it damn, let's make it lime green, why not, let's make it pure green, background color, let's make it blue, and I'm going to make it a little bit invisible, actually I'm going to make these red, why not, red, Make it a little bit invisible. And I want, where is it here? Style normal to be drawn as an image. Now, the reason I do image is because if you look really close, it fades the edges. It's not just a square, straight up button, it fades it nicely. And it actually half ass looks nice. I'm going to make this text in our text I'm gonna make it grant uh, lime green too why not let's make it like a hacker looking scene save play see now welcome Richard hey guys it's me what do you know uh, now I got options play and quit and quit works now I'm gonna leave this here we got a menu going um, saving this and I showed you how to get the live feed view and in the time I'm hoping in the next few days here like I said I've been really busy I'm hoping the next few days here I'll come back to this you guys will have a gorgeous uh, backdrop set up for your characters you know what feel free smash that sub button go to my Facebook page uh, facebook.com forward slash southeaststudios.ca post me some pictures of what you guys came up with for your background show me what you got i appreciate it love you guys thanks for following me 
I'm gonna set this for the rest uh, to the end of the video and happy designing happy designing